Good afternoon, dear students. Today, uh, the theme of our lesson is high and low context in intercultural communication. Today, we will discuss what is low context and what is high context. The context of the situation depends on who are you communicating with, where you are, what you are communicating about, and why you are communicating in the first place. In low-context cultures, the way you people communicate doesn't vary so much. It tends to be more formal and people focus on the subject matter rather than on the person they are communicating with. In a business setting, problems and differences are often dealt with early on. Once an agreement has been reached, the details are often recorded and written down. In low-context cultures, detailed contracts are an essential part of doing business. So, low-context implies focusing on problems rather than people, emphasis on words, communication is typically explicit, and detailed contracts required. Also, plans are followed carefully. In high context cultures, the focus is on the people involved. Relationships are a key part of communication. When doing business, people remain flexible and change can happen at any time. Problems are often put to one side and only dealt with when absolutely necessary. So, high context, focus on people and relationships, emphasis on Non-verbal cues. A lot of communication is implicit. Time to build trust is required. And plans can change often. Edward Hall was the founder of high and low context and he wrote about it in his book Beyond Culture. What is the difference between high and low context culture? So, high context cultures are relational, collectivist, intuitive and contemplative. This means that people in these cultures emphasize interpersonal relationships. Low context cultures are logical, linear, individualistic and action oriented. People from low context cultures value logic, facts and directness. Chinese, African, Japanese, Brazilian, Arab, Filipino, French Canadians, French, Greeks, Native Hawaiian, Hungarian, Indian, Italian, North Korean, Latino, Portuguese, Russian and Spanish, they are from high context cultures. American, Australian, British Canadian, British German, Irish, New Zealand, Scandinavian and Swiss all are from low context cultures.
So we have noticed that American business culture implies power distance and formality in the United States is low. Calling everyone by their first name is standard in most American companies. Well, time is precious. I will straight into the point. The Prince of Saudi Arabia has reached out to me for collaboration. What collaboration? Oh, is it the one for new business partner, the Arabas company? Yes, it's to build the world's tallest building in Saudi Arabia. Over there, you'll meet with their company agent for further progress. Alright, we'll take care of it. As United States is a low context culture, Americans prefer direct communication style. Also, they prioritize the quick and efficient exchange of information. Three days later. Oh, hi! I'm Hugh Figure, the manager of Anderson Inc. Ah. Nice to meet you. My name is Mohamed Osas, and I will be your agent. You can call me Mr. Mohamed. So, an Arabian agent is crucial for business purposes to manage schedules and business details between foreigners. So, we should know that for Arabians, the left hand is considered unclean. Always use your right hand when engaging in a handshake with Arabians. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry about that. Oh, Mr. Mohamed, can we have the contact of the Arabist company? Yeah, we'll have to make a phone call, schedule our first meeting. I see, but... So as we know, Saudi Arabia is a very high context culture and Arabians rely heavily on non-verbal cues and prefer face-to-face -face communication. Oh, okay. Right now, okay, the boss is coming. Assalamualaikum. Alright, so this is Miss Hilfiger and that is Miss Lawrence from Aniston Inc. Oh yeah, and so 
This is my business card. This is my business card. Thank you. Please have a seat. Thank you. Business. Finally. Okay, sure. Queen's calling. Mahaba. Kef al haa. Alright, let's continue. One eternity later. We'd like to make an appointment for our next meeting. Is Friday at 4 p.m. suitable for you? I'm afraid not. How about Monday 2 p.m.? Yeah. Alright, it sounds good. 